That was a decent strike. Guys, pull shots on the golf course and you're pulling the ball or you're practicing and you're pulling shots and you don't know why. We need some ammunition, all right? You need a parachute to you know, land softly at times. It's a difficult game and we go through patches where you know, and we may need to change the way that we think out there. We've got to get this golf ball in the hole. Right, here's a couple of thoughts for you, what you can be looking at. The first one is keeping your toes of your lead foot connected to the ground through impact and after impact. Right, that'll keep a little bit more side bend. And when you have side bend, the face stays more neutral. If you lose side bend or if you're pulling the ball, a lot of the time we'll get the toe up, the face will close and we're move, moving in this direction. So that's one thing. It's just simply, you can use a practice swing, you know, before you hit if you have to. Sometimes you have to think. And uh, we're gonna get in there and just keep the toes down. Now that can give you a bit of side bend. The other thing is, is, is side bend, right? is really getting this, this left shoulder very high through the ball and keeping a bit of side bend through the shot. You might just want to feel that this shoulder is really moving up higher and, and not finishing lower, but you can give yourself with a little bit of side bend through the ball. I'll just hit one out here and I'll try not to hit my camera. Now you can see that I hit that nice. You can see that I'm on the side here and we've really got the right side of the face down. And you know, that's, that's essentially, that's really a great place to be when you're working on your swing anyway. But on the golf course, keeping that side bend, that might be, that might turn into a little bit of a reminder swing thought for you. And the other thing, all right, is obviously for some of the advanced players, if you're pulling the ball, is to work like DeChambeau, like so many players are working on, McElroy, Garcia, Woods is the logo, you know, working its way up and the heel feeling like it stays, you know, a little bit up. So you're seeing that a lot of the time. I mean, that's a great, for a lot of your iron shots, you know, it's a great thing to do anyway. So let's have a look. All right, so you get that logo pointed up. There's a couple of thoughts for you. All right now I've taught lots of professionals and this is spoken to many of the great players played with them and obviously you know this lead hand working its way up you know the side bend the neck tilt the toes connected to the ground now that they're using you know, force plates and body tracks and, and all sorts of mats in connection to the to your flight scopes and your track mans we can really get in there and experiment around and see how do I control this face? And there's a couple of great thoughts for you guys when you're out there to stop the pull shots and they may in fact turn in to some of your main or main one of those thoughts turn into one of your main swing thoughts in your swing. So everyone, right, let's have a look at this McElroy. What a golf swing. Let's have a look at these toes. Now I'm just talking about this part of the golf swing here. I'm going to play this back and forth. So have a look at this. Next time you're doing some golf balls, keep the toes planted. Keep them connected to the ground. You know, squeeze those thighs together and get a little bit of an arch in the small of the back. And when you do get this, that does shallow out, does help us hit a little bit more at times from the inside. But keeping those toes connected to the ground. Very interesting when we're using body track or we're using force plates and we're looking at club face control here. I know a lot of golfers will move the weight into the heel here, but you know, by just getting there experimenting around, it's, it's important to notice what happens to the ball flight. It's a very, very interesting area here. Look at the tilt here when we're coming through the golf ball. Because I'm just showing you something here coming up. And obviously McElroy has that little step over. You may not have seen that before. See how he lifts the heel up and plants it. That's not a bad drill, actually, just to, just to fiddle around with. But getting those toes connected to the ground, the knees together. Look at that straight left leg. And he's, you know, he's able to carry the ball sometimes up to 320 yards and not have any recoil. So getting yourself in a wonderful balanced position. Now guys, I have been helping people online from all over the world and have had just some amazing success uh, the last couple of years. So if you're after online lessons, check out craighansongolf.com. And you can send your swings through on your mobile phone and the format's the same as this, right? So you'll be getting a video, it'll go for somewhere between 20 or 30 minutes. So I go right through and show you the exercise and the next step and really finding the point of failure for a lot of people. You know, that'll open up the door for you and get you on the path to playing some better golf. That's something I'm really passionate about and take my time with. 
So let's have a look at you know with the side bend and and really this neck tilt through the ball. Now obviously you know when we're looking at all these different numbers and averages, you know we have a tour average here between 39 to 45 degrees. You know we see the head by a lot of players moving down two three inches so they you know keep their angles and hit it with a bent right arm all these type of things but just through the golf ball here I want to have a look at this uh, major move one of the hallmarks of really great ball strikers and it really is when the arms are parallel to the ground here looking at an angle here on the shoulders now we're looking at 58 degrees we're seeing this so often into the mid 50s the low 60 degree area and you can see where the golf ball was Okay, so when you're crunching numbers, through these numbers, the closer you get, the better you hit, right? It, the information is really out there these days. And, you know, if you get your hands on the right information and you apply it, after a little while you start to improve your ball strike. You really, really do. Now, when you have a look at this position here, we see that the, you know, the line here uh, is from the shoulder is above the head. Sometimes it's, you'll see it level with the head or just slightly under, but we're looking at averages of movement here. Okay, now often what I look at is when we look at it, a line from the shoulder here into the belt buckle, we'll be seeing it around 40 or just under 40 degrees. And so you're mimicking copying great ball strikers. They're all really moving extremely similar. The engine room of the goal swing. See that club face here? We're looking at a very neutral style club face here. If you're not hitting a, hu a huge draw down the right here, swinging this thing in, it, the club face will be turned over probably slightly more than that. But you can see where that club face is. It's a very neutral style, very modern style club face here. And that is, you know, preventing a lot of shots heading out to the left. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction. So if you get this side bend, if you get this neck tilt, they haven't been just doing it recently. Let's have a look here as we go through, I think it's this one here. We'll go through the ball here and we'll have a look at Sneed. You know, when we have a look at this shoulder plane here into the mid 50s, and we have a line from the shoulder into the into the hip, maybe around 38, 39 degrees here. And you're seeing that side bend and neck tilt. So getting yourself into this end position with some neck tilt is as is, is basic as it sounds, just getting the, the right ear underneath the left, the right eye, and holding that position, getting your spine angle on the side here, keeps the right arm under the left. You know, stops things from flipping over, helps shallow out the plane. You know, you've got to be looking at what these, these top players are doing. When we're looking at the hand release of the modern day player, I mean, it will look different if we're going to hit a big, as I said, a big swinging draw down here. But let's have a look here at Adam Scott, one of the best ball strikers in the world as he comes through the golf ball. And we've seen this by Jason Day, seen this by you know, so many great balls. And we've seen it by Hogan and Hunter May and many other players. We'll see this, how these hands are working. Now you see how you can see the logo? See how if you took the, that left hand with the glove there, that's the left hand. If you took that off the glove and opened up the fingers of the right hand, that right palm's pointed back at us. Have a look at that club face here. Pointed over in this position here. It's not pointed with this one down. It just fiddle around with that, give it a go. On the golf course, might help you out. You get a bit of a, a release here underneath it. Release. We know that they have 12 to 15 degrees of shafting. It has nothing to do with flipping it. It really has nothing to do with flipping it. People just are very, very confused in this position and don't understand that the left wrist will move very quickly back into extension, you know, through and after impact. That's how we get that snap and that, that perfect release. We're just seeing it by you know, a lot of great players. Have a look at this action here from McElroy. You know, it's just a, it really is a machine, and you can see that it looks a little bit like Tiger Woods, who's you know the best iron player ever. Garcia will also have this move, and uh, we can see that the glove, the logo, is pointing back at us. The chest is opened, okay, so that we're holding that. Uh, it, it's just it's a fear. You've got to be able to mimic it. You can actually start in this position and work your way back. And guys, just by mimicking positions and understanding technique and that's one why I'm showing you just a couple of areas here. You find one of these areas, you connect it to your own game, and all of a sudden when we're out on the golf course, we're starting them left and we use one of these as a, as a swing thought or a feel. 
And uh, there's a lot more on world-class golf instruction where people are improving their golf. All the videos are in one place. There's no conflicting information, guys. Check out world-class golf instruction. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Have a look at the site, advanced pitching, the whole thing. Plenty of information on every single area of the game, and it's uh, yeah, continuously growing. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the button, hit that bell. Plenty of videos coming away. All right, we'll see you next time.